Hello everyone, my name is Shem and welcome to VFX Kitchen. So before we start, let me show you what we are going to do today. Originally this mesh was like around 1 million poly or something, but we decided to go for 5k. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends. Um, we are here just to share some knowledge. So today we are talking about Instant Mesh. Uh, and Instant Mesh, one of the software that's not having much exposure, uh, it's mainly a retopology tool. And we are talking in general about uh, the workflow for um, getting 3D scans from the scanners into your scene in Blender. As you know, when you're making a scan for an object, you usually get a high density uh, mesh, which means it's not easier to get it into a game engine or um, having a flexible scene uh, inside Maya or Blender or any kind of software you're using. So today I'm going to show you uh, how I am working with this. So first, that's Instant Mesh. You can get it from GitHub. Just Google Instant Mesh and I will keep the link in the description. So it's a very simple, small tool. Uh, you can just download it from here. That's a binary for Windows. And we need to have a, 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 a scan model. And I usually use 3D scans. It's literally called 3D scans. Uh, these are free models. You can download and use right away. Um, the only thing is it doesn't come with a texture. And I want to share their workflow with using even a texture. So let me show you another example I got from TurboSquid. It's just a rock, but it comes with texture and it's also having a, a heavy mesh. So you can simply download it, it's for free. So to save some time, I just downloaded all the stuff and here's inset mesh. You can just extract it. Okay, it's just one exe file, no much work here. And then we have the rock and I will just export both of them here. And let's just jump and start inset mesh and at the same time get the path of the obj file here copy the link open mesh from here okay so that's the mesh and the cool thing about inset mesh is that it's loading it um, even on the gpu so if it's like a very high density mesh it can split it into small patches and start to distribute it over the gpu so it's really really fast when you are working with it but right now it just not very heavy one. Uh, you can check the stats for this mesh here. Um, you can see how many faces and um, edges and vertices we have. So we have like 1 million, I guess. Yeah, that's 1 million 495,449 um, face. And of course, the vertices and so on. Um, so it's very simple tool. All what you do is pressing solve that before we press solve, uh, here is like a, a, a spin box where you can change how much you want to reduce the mesh density. And you can see this red uh, part here, it indicates um, how, like this, like the safe area. So if you are uh, reducing it in that range, it will work fine. But if you go less than this, you might end up having a very bad quality ones. So for this video, we're just going to go for something very less so we can show how it looks like. And then you press solve and then it starts to draw kind of uh, the flow of the lines of the typology it's going to do um, it looks like this and you can even do more stuff where you can just paint how do you want to the flow to look like so i can just draw that i want the flow of the lines looks like this uh, some of the flow of the lines go like this way and can just rotate i have to turn this one off and then rotate and then come back to it mm. Okay, um, yeah, you can see it's also following the edges here, which is really cool. Um, it works better again with drawing this if you want to um, shape a face or shape a, like a statue or something that you want to have the, the quads of these polygons in, in a certain way. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, and yeah, let me show you real quick here. We can just draw one more line in this edge just to refine it. And you also have like a magnet tool, which is also moving um, these quads in a certain way. So uh, here is for orientation, here is for position. Just don't mix between them. And we just press solve again. And then you will get how the final mesh will look like. Um, okay. So inside export, we say export mesh. Sorry, extract mesh. 
and that's how it looks like if you want to compare it with the original you can just press show input and show output that's how it looks like okay so we are done here we just exported and we are going to save it here to low poly rock.obj don't forget to put obj because it will ask you to put obj that's how easy it is we are done here let's jump to blender i'm going to import uh, the obj file on desktop we have kitchen scan workflow the rock obj and you can see already that it's like 225 megabyte that's the original one and the low poly is 500k so we are doing cool here import and it's going to take forever to import so i might pause until it's done and then i will come back again all right so our rock is already imported here as you can see um, it's very dense if you look at the wireframe there is too many lines and we are going now to load the texture on it so let me just select it go to the shader uh, base color image texture and open and from desktop uh, VFX kitchen scan workflow the rock textures and we need the albedo which is like the color okay and if I check the texture in the viewport wow that's how it looks like cool now let's import uh, the low res one and we copy the texture from the high poly one to the low res one so that's the low poly one it just imported instantly um, you can see the wires it's pretty small pretty less than the other one and if you try to check the uv for this one you see that we don't have uv at all so first we're going to select all here go for uv smart uv project just press ok so it will generate a uv for us and again uh, we come back to the layout so next we have to create an empty image where we are going to bake the texture from the original one uh, to the low poly one so to do this we are going to select uh, the shader for the low poly one and to base color uh, image texture and we want to create a new one he will ask you how big you want to have your image of course if you go for 2k or whatever it's fine uh, the bigger is better and i will just do it here for uh, for the tutorial but it will take some time if you're going for higher less so press ok and now we have a texture here uh, sorry it's just black color so to do baking inside blender you have to select the high res one and then the low res one and then we go to render uh, we don't have bake at eve render engine so we are going to cycles and inside bake i'm going to bake uh, the diffuse i'm just going to go, the, go for the color um yeah we have to activate select it to active and we need to have like one meter for the ray distance i think it's just one unit doesn't matter if it's a meter or centimeter as far as i know and that's it we just press bake and we wait for it see you after the baking and baking is done so let me show you how it looks like um we are going to select just the low poly one move it a little bit away okay so that's the low res one that's the high res one you can see um mainly the changes are at the shape itself yeah that's that's feasible but also the texture itself because that's like 8k this one is 1k but if you're doing a game engine or you're just exporting it somewhere else it doesn't matter that much because in the end it's just a rock what's worth mentioning that inside instant mesh uh, the average was between like 30k to 60k uh, because originally this mesh was like around 1 million poly or something but we decided to go for 5k so that's very low and it's still appealing like look here it's you can literally see the lines but here it's pretty dense pretty pretty dense um yeah it's all about your decision if you want to have it high res or lower res or mid res it's up to you and the engine are using so that's it for today thank you for watching uh, please like the video subscribe to the channel if you didn't share the video with your friends if you have someone interested in visual effects we are sharing some knowledge here and stay tuned for the next video we have some good news and some more free stuff to share um yeah so stay safe and see you next time bye bye now, here comes the music boom 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 i'll shoot you right now boom boom boom